Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a reading today. So this is going to be your own crossroads in your love life and you just want to know what to do. So it's going to be pick a card, choose the number one, two, or three. I will go ahead and list the um, timestamps in the description box below so you guys can go straight to whatever reading you want. You guys can choose the entire reading or you can just choose one or two or however you guys want to do it. So this can be for any kind of a love connection, but you're at a crossroads with this connection and you're just looking for maybe a sign or you know a push to figure out what you're supposed to do. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed as well as her Wisdom um, Wisdom of the Oracle cards, both by Colette Baron Reed. So we're just gonna go ahead and shuffle, and let's go ahead and get some energies. All right, you guys, if you chose number one, let's go ahead and get some messages, okay? You're at a crossroads with Spirit saying what to do. Well, we have the Page of Air. So the Page of Air is definitely a card where, you know, you need to be more logical about, about your actions. You need to be more logical in your way of thinking. That's very, very important, okay? So they're telling you it might not be a time for you to be emotional about this decision. You might really need to utilize logic. We also have the three of fire. See, the thing is, is that you do want to move forward, but see, the problem is, is that you might be waiting. You might be waiting for things to change. You might be waiting for somebody else to take action. And because the page of air is, you know, that it's like thoughts, it's our thoughts and we're not really putting anything into action. It's not the night of air. The night of air would be somebody who's taking action, but this is an energy here where we're really need, you know, we're really needing to take action, but maybe we're just kind of reserved or we're reserved. So we're at that crossroads still. Yeah. You know, we have the world. Something needs to be uh, completed here. That's what I'm seeing here. We need to move forward. I'm seeing that instead of waiting, we do need to complete this. We need to move forward and we might want to hang on to this and not make a decision, but we do need to move forward. We also have the tribe card here and the tribe is consult your tribe. This could be your spiritual tribe, your spirit guides, your family, your friends, whoever you resonate with as far as that, your tribe. That is the energy here. This is about consulting the tribe. This is also about spending more time with family and friends uh, around people that are empowering you, not disempowering you. So it's about getting strong. And we also have yen. The yen right here is an energy here of really trusting your intuition. This is a feminine energy, trusting your intuition. And just, you know, it is about being logical, but it's also about trusting your trusting your minds, trusting your thought, trusting your intuition, exactly truth be told. Because this is the deal. You might be waiting for somebody to, to bring you the truth, but what I'm getting here, you already know the truth. You already know the truth of the situation because the yen card is about our feminine side, our intuitive side. You already know what the truth is. You might be waiting for somebody to bring you that truth, but you already know what the truth is. And so you've got to trust that and you've got to be logical and practical now. You can't be you can't be in this energy of just waiting and staying stuck. It is a time to move forward. It is a time to, you know, go off into the world and maybe close this chapter. So you're at a crossroads. And what I'm getting here is it's not about sitting at the crossroads and continuing to stay stuck. It is about moving forward on this crossroads. It is about, um, you know, closing up this chapter for now. N nothing is set in stone. Nothing is forever. But for now, that's the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is to stay stuck and to wait is not the answer. It is about moving forward and it is about taking some sort of action and trusting your intuition and being logical when it comes to your thought process right now. That's just what I'm getting for number one. So I know that was short and sweet, but I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Let's move on into number two. Okay, so if you chose number two, you're at a crossroads right now and you just want some advice, what to do. So let's go ahead and get some messages. We have nine of air. So right now you're very much in your headspace. You're very worried. You have a lot of anxiety. You might be losing sleep over the situation. Okay. So this is definitely a very trying situation. Yeah. Again, we have the five of air. Somebody may have, um, pulled the rug out from under your feet. You could have just really tried and you've been beating yourself. Like you're, you've just been trying to get through a situation and no matter what you do, no matter which way you go, you just seem to, like you can't win. And so Spirit's advice here is that you just have to pull out of this fight, this tug of war, the struggle that you're in right now. You're not going to get anywhere. You might just need to just step out of the fight and walk away and let go for now. 
wow, three of water. Uh, this is, it could be a third party situation. It could be that right now you have a lot of anxiety. Maybe you're in a third party situation. Maybe somebody else is in a third party situation. There's definitely this energy here where you might want to come back together with somebody, but it could be because there's some other kind of energy that's around you. It's about pulling out of that energy. So let's just say you are in a situation where you're waiting on somebody to leave a partner. Maybe you're in a relationship and you want to go into another relationship with somebody else. There's this energy here where this third party situation, it's not just going to resolve on its own. Like we need to just, we, we need to pull out of it. Like we can't, we can't continue to move forward the way that things are going. Something has to change. Something has to shift. And the only way that that's going to happen is if we take action and we actually pull ourselves out of the drama or we pull ourselves out of this lover's triangle. That is if that message resonates with some of you. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If there's no third party, what I'm getting here is that you want to come back together with this person. You want to have a reunion. You may be struggling with whether or not that's ever going to happen. And what I'm getting here is that you're in your own headspace about it thinking about it, obsessing about it, having nightmares about it, that's not going to get you anywhere. It's best for you to just pull out of this energy altogether and really just try to focus on, you know, your community, try to focus on your family, your friends, having a good time because you're not having a good time staying up late at night and having nightmares about this. You're definitely not. Yeah, we have unfinished symphony. So there is some kind of an energy here where something is unfinished. So there is a possibility that you and this person will come back together at some point today. I'm not well, I don't know why I said today, come back together with this person one day. It just may not be right now. You may want this now, but it may just not be happening right now. But spirit saying that something is unfinished. There is some time and energy in the future that you will have a chance to mend things with them, but you're not going to mend things while you're, tr while you're struggling so much in this energy of staying connected to it. That, so we might need some time to heal. Yeah, we need flexible. People need to be more flexible with the way that they're thinking. So the thing is, is that you might feel like by staying attached to it or by staying in the situation, you might be afraid. And this is just going to go for those of you that are in a third party. You might be afraid to leave that third party situation because you're afraid you're going to lose your partner. Well, you know what? If that's what you lose your partner over because they can't be flexible with how you feel that you don't want to be stuck in some lover's triangle, then I don't know what to say about that. That's not a good sign. Um, but people got to be flexible. You have to be flexible to let people figure their shit out. You got to be flexible when it comes to divine timing. You have to be flexible when it comes to people just needing time to mend and heal, but staying stuck in this energy of the five of swords and just beating your head up against a wall and trying to figure it out today and wanting to come back together with somebody now or soon, that kind of energy, it's just not working. So spirit saying you've got to pull out of that energy. You got to pull either out of the third party situation, or you got to pull out of that kind of thinking. Stop trying to battle it and figure it out. You're not going to get it figured out that way. Best thing for you to do is pull back. Realize that when it's meant to be, it will come back around. You'll have an opportunity to mend. And in the, in the meantime, mend yourself and be more flexible with the situation. It's about letting go a little bit. It's about pulling away from the fight. Because all you're doing is you're hurting yourself. So you're at this crossroads. You don't know what to do. Do I fight for it? Do I stay? Do I go? When I'm getting here, so you got to pull out. you got to pull out. Of, wow. You have to pull out of the fight. You have to pull away from this energy in order for things to come back around because something is unfinished here. So give it, a, give it some breathing room. Give it some time. That's what I got. All right, you guys. So if you chose number three, these are your messages. So this is going to be um, this energy here of you're at a crossroads. What do you do? Oh, we have a king of water, so we could be talking about a water sign individual, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. We also have the messenger of air, so this is the knight of air. The knight of air is it could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So the knight of swords, and I have the six of earth. Very interesting. So what do you do? Um, I'm definitely seeing two energies here. I'm seeing action, and I'm seeing emotion, and I'm seeing a give and take. So I'm seeing an equal exchange of give and take between two people. Okay. So let's get some messages here. Well, we have imagined. So what you have imagined is coming true. We also have a change in when there is a change that is on the horizon for this situation and it's coming from a masculine energy. So I'm definitely getting here that if you're at this crossroads right now, something is about ready to happen. So I'm not really seeing that you need to make any choices. I'm actually seeing that some kind of masculine energy is coming back towards your way. What you imagine, what you want is coming to you. There's a change in the wind. So you, you might be at a crossroads. You might be waiting. You might be trying to figure it out. Just stop. I'm just seeing that there's going to be some sort of action and somebody's going to come back towards you and express their emotions to you. They're going to, they're going to take some sort of actions. They're going to give you something and it's a masculine energy. What you imagine is coming to you. 
you. So there's a change in the wind. Things are about ready to be changed up. And it looks to me like it's going to be working in your favor. <laughs> That's just what I'm getting. Looks pretty good, you guys, who chose number three. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that super quick reading, but I just wanted to get something out real quick. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.